वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एट जीरो एट फाइव वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू सॉफ्टवेयर एंड हार्डवेयर इंटरअप इन माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एट जीरो एट फाइव माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स बिफोर आई एक्सप्लेन यू द कंपेरिजन ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर एंड हार्डवेयर इंटरअप आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन यू द बेसिक मीनिंग विच इज देयर विथ सॉफ्टवेयर एंड हार्डवेयर इंटरअप सी वेन वी टॉक अबाउट हार्डवेयर इंटरअप then you just consider this is microprocessor 8085 and in that these are the four pins which is receiving hardware interrupt now whenever external device is giving interrupt at that time with each of this pin there is well defined memory location and whatever interrupt is getting triggered that will go to interrupt service routine over here inside microprocessor 8085 so that is a case which is happening with hardware interrupt in which each hardware pin is having well defined memory location but when we talk about software interrupt at that time you see we are having microprocessor over here and let us say at this pin software interrupt is coming from external device so what will happen now whenever microprocessor is receiving interrupt from external device microprocessor will give interrupt acknowledgement to that device and whenever interrupt acknowledgement that is given to that device at that time that device will give instruction to this microprocessor and whatever instruction that is received by this microprocessor based on that instruction microprocessor will transfer it controls to that service routine so interrupt as interrupts are given by external devices only but in hardware interrupt all the pins are having well defined memory location for that service of interrupt but when it comes to software interrupt at that time interrupt will come from hardware but here instruction of transfer of control that will be also given by that hardware so that is how it is different right now my dear students let us try to understand all those things step by step so that will get more clear in terms of comparison so when we talk about software interrupt so that is invoked by microprocessor 8085 how it is invoked by microprocessor 8085 once microprocessor 8085 receives instruction and when it executes that instruction at that time interrupt service will get provided and here hardware interrupt that is invoked by external hardware how whenever external hardware is providing interrupt at that time pin will directly transfer control to the interrupt service as all the hardware pin are having well defined memory location i'll explain you even how those memory locations are there when it comes to software interrupt then microprocessor 8085 is having total 8 interrupt instructions those instructions are rst0 to rst7 and with hardware interrupt there are total 5 pins available with 8085 intr rst5.5 rst6.5 rst7.5 and trap when it comes to priority then in software interrupt all interrupts are having equal priority why the reason is 8085 can execute only one instruction at a same time so rst0 or rst1 or rst2 or rst7 can be executed it cannot have execution at a same time right so all are having equal priority but in hardware interrupt it is possible that multiple interrupt may occur at a same time then highest priority that is given to trap after that priority is there with rst7.5 then rst 6.5 rst 5.5 and lowest priority that is assigned to intr line so that is how priority is defined with hardware interrupt and with software interrupt my dear students when we talk about triggering then with software interrupt interrupt is getting triggered by instruction execution right but in hardware interrupt you will be observing that triggering will happen with respect to signal 
and that signal may be age trigger signal or it may be level trigger signal. You see age trigger means whenever signal goes from low to high. So low to high transition that is referred as age trigger signal. But when it goes from low to high but triggering will happen when it stays high that is referred as level trigger signal. I will explain you that in detail when I explain you hardware interrupt. Now when we talk about disabling of interrupt, so at that time you should know my dear students, we can disable all software interrupt by DI instruction as well as there are many other ways by which we can disable interrupt that we will discuss in interrupt of 8085 main block diagram. Now when we talk about disabling of hardware interrupt, then other than trap can be disabled. Now let us talk about how locations are there with interrupts. So all instructions which are there with software interrupt those are vectored. Vectored means all the instructions will transfer control of program to the well defined memory locations. So that's why all software interrupts are vectored interrupts. And with hardware interrupt my dear students you should know that other than INTR are having vectored address and let us see what are those locations even. So when we talk about RST0 to RST7 then you see we have well defined memory location with each instruction execution. As if you execute RST0 program control will get transferred to 0000, 0, 0, 0 hex memory location. When you execute RST1 program control will get transferred to 0, 0, 0, 0008 hex. Likewise addresses are there and you can easily remember these addresses even. You see RST0 is having 0000, 0, 0, 0, then you will have to add 8. So RST1 is having 0, 0, 0, 0008 hex. Then if you add 8, then RS2 address will be there that is 0010. In hex you will have to do this addition, remember this. And you can have RST7 with address 0038 as per the addition in sequence by 8. Now when we talk about vector address of this hardware interrupt, then this trap is having address that is 0024 hex. Now how to remember this? See initially trap was named as RST 4.5 and RST 4.5 means if you multiply 8 with 4.5 then what will be the value 4.5 multiply by 8 that will be 36 and 36 in terms of hex that will be 24 hex. Now you see RST 7.5, 6.5 and 5.5 that is having these addresses. How to remember this? So you don't need to remember direct data. 7.5 multiply by 8 whatever data comes in terms of hex it will be 3C. So that is how you can have 6.5 address that is 3.4. You just do that. I am just giving it to you in practice. 6.5 multiply by 8 in terms of hex it will be 3.4 and 5.5 into 8 that will be in terms of 2C with hexadecimal system and INTR that is not having any vector address that we obtain from external device. So with this INTR line on the this software instructions those are getting executed right but in terms of hardware we receive interrupt from this terminal but service will be provided by this software instructions. So my dear students, hardware interrupts are phi only in microprocessor 8085 and how to execute that. For that also I have already explained you the basic steps, right. Now in next video, I will be going to explain you all the hardware interrupt with complete details so that after that I can explain you complete interrupt structure of 8085. And after watching these three, four videos, you will be having 100% idea about how microprocessor interrupts are there. I hope you have understood this. Still, if any confusion is there, just play, post that in comment box. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.